30 FPS because that's what the game actually plays in Xbox. So it gets the 60 frames per second upload that I know they really actually get because that's just what Bethesda does. They eventually go back and patch their game for visuals and performance. It's no different than what they did with Redfall, Fallout 4, and other Bethesda base titles also this is going to be one of the more quicker gameplay videos that i got for you it's not really much going on honestly besides that space battle that you saw if i'm not mistaken i had some other footage that i wanted to showcase to you all but i might have accidentally deleted it I think I might have lost it if I didn't delete it. I'm like, I, I most likely probably did delete it, and it was by accident, not paying attention. Yeah, so that's unfortunate. I'm sorry. I kind of wanted you guys to see this other capture that I had as well for this. So I, I guess. Actually, I'll take this time to talk about the upcoming Hellblade 2 Senua's Saga. Um, the sequel to Hellblade 1, which is has been a lot of controversy and rumors and trash talking about the game about to release next month. Because it's only going to be locked at a 30 frames per second cap. Which is unfortunate, like we all agree and kind of feel like, hey, you know, Series X is the most powerful console so far. They basically said 60 frames per second would be the standard and up to 120 frames per second would be like, you know, the maximum, um, you know, performance that you could actually get from the Series X and S. Um, but I want to say this, right? so it doesn't bother me that the game isn't 30 frames per second. It does a little bit, like, they, like I said, based off of what the Series X is supposed to be able to do. So it does kind of bother me, but this is why it doesn't in the same breath. Like It's like a double-edged sword. So it doesn't bother me because, one, it's a single-player game. So I don't need 60 frames per second that split, you know extra couple of frames you know to play a single player story driven third person over the shoulder camera um type of style of a game where i need the extra frames per second so i can deal without it oh, now well, being we're that we're coming we to swing a close for this video here i want to say this interesting for sale um i kind of feel like eventually it will get a patch and an update for the 60 frames per second and um, it's like I said, it's a lot of people are making a big deal out of this, and it's mostly the Sony fanboy community. But I want to say this you can look it up. Xbox has more 120 and 60 frames per second games than Sony. But I gotta go till next time. Peace and be well, everyone. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Noob out.